We're going to have some fun. I'm John Lemkul. Hello. Welcome to a new One Topic Tips. This is on Triggerbox. Triggerbox is a MIDI effect we designed and released as a free update in December of 2021. It looks like this. It could do all sorts of really cool things. If you show details, there's all of these controls here for note triggering by MIDI CCs. So you can trigger notes with a sustain pedal for like piano noise to be triggered on a piano sample set. You could have a drum groove start when you move up a mod wheel, all sorts of cool things. In fact, if you go to the load preset page, uh, sound plays with a sustain pedal on, sound plays with a sustain pedal off. Delay the notes, an eighth note, so you could go like this and you actually have all the way up to a whole measure of delay before they play. <laughs> and then it waits a measure because, you know. <laughs> so there's all sorts of things like that. Uh, sound plays with notes off sometimes. This is where we start getting into the probability for note off effects and so forth. Because when I did the piano, I didn't want it to have note off every time. So I asked Shane when we were developing this to put in probability. Well, for Mega Magic Pads, which is this patch that I've been playing for you, this is using probability in kind of a cool way for like, a, you know, modular synthesizers have this really cool thing where the probability can be used to take something like this, bring down probability, and it becomes these real, really, really interesting random melodies that don't repeat. Really, really fun. So we're using Triggerbox in a unique way, and I've had some customers asking how to set this up and to show examples of Triggerbox. Where can you find them? So the main place to find, by the way, by the way, because the sale is almost over, Mega Magic Pads is now available for Unify Native. All of the samples from Mega Magic Pads are now available as a library for Unify. There's going to be bonus patches added. And I have already gone through and added custom artwork. For every one of the core patches, every one of these has all sorts of... Really, really interesting, fun. These are created by an artificial intelligence graphic program. Is it deserted? I love also um, pastoral warmth for sad days. So there's artwork that I've made to go along with the samples that I've made. It's so wonderful to be able to have this combination. Um, so if you need killer pads, please check out Mega Magic Pads. It's very fun, good stuff. Okay, so anyway, let's go over to the library that with showing all the trigger box stuff, and that is Mega Magic Keys. I went home for Christmas, and while everybody was sleeping, I was in the front room recording my mom's C3 grand piano and her felt upright. We have all sorts of cool samples. These have all sorts of. Um, and there's note off pedal noises. This is exaggerated, but I have trigger box on this and it has probability at different percentage rates for different things so that you could have diff different things showing up and not showing up so it wasn't the same because pianos, they don't squeak the same every time, right? So for the pianos, I used it in like a pro sampler setup. You've got the ability to do this on a layer basis. Here how noisy it is. Well, if I wanted to, 
because we have trigger box as a separate effect to what the instrument is, I could get rid of these other layers. I could replace this with anything. I could go over here and I could say, give me hive. And now when I play hive, and I take out my hands off the keys, <laughs> it could be playing any synthesizer. <laughs> so that's one way to use trigger box is to have it so it plays any plugin can be set up to play something when you play take your hands off the keys uh, other examples that were fun with this is i did a lot of stuff with the mod wheel where here's a mega magic piano on the mod wheel is the ocean And then on macro one, I set up volume as well. So right here, it triggers the note to be on because anything beyond a value of zero will send a note on command to this layer. And then I just have the volume coming up at the same time. And if your layer happens to have like a MIDI box playing a drum groove, then you get into these jam things that are so fun because on the mod wheel can be a cool lo-fi groove. And it's on the mod wheel, so I could... And even if you come down here to the splits, it gets even crazier because now there's jams with sound effects and grooves and it's split with bass. So you have. Another mod wheel. So all sorts of things like this are possible. Now let's initialize and let's go over here to Mega Magic Pads. The very last synth patch is a really nice snappy. Right? Let's use this. Let's go over here. Let's add a MIDI box and let's have it play something nice and busy. So we're going to go to the standard library. Just so happens that this Discover Station MIDI files, you can go over here, call up something like a 16th note pattern and you play one note. Bring this down a little bit, bring up the offset. Exaggerate it. Now, one cool thing with MIDI box, as we all know, is we can play polyphonically, so. Now, it's just playing 16th notes, right? Let's, let's mix it up. So right after MIDI box, just click this little gold circle right next to the MIDI box that we added and go to creative and go to trigger box. And then go over here show details go load preset actually you don't even have to do that if you add a new trigger box all you have to do is say always right there instead of when the cc is in range just say always and now notes go through and probability works try it it's really fun now i want this slider on a knob inside of Unify, so I can play with this, right? So we go to, we gotta go to page four, because <laughs> these patches have a lot of control set up. Let's call this uh, synth one, and let's make a percentage sign, because that also kind of equals probability, right? Click right here, say linked parameters, make sure it's full range, and then click the little circle plus, go instrument, this is Battleborn MIDI effect, trigger box, Probability, there it is. By just doing that, now this moves that probability uh, knob inside of trigger box. So really slow, like 1%, you'll hardly ever hear it. Right? And we could do this. Let's go over here and say, let's duplicate this layer. Open up Guru Sampler and let's just choose a different sample set 
from inside of Mega Magic Pads, let's say sine waves. And I want this to be even more different, so I'm gonna show you something kind of fun. So first of all, let's get this to be snappy. I want it to be really snappy. So we turn off sync, we set this to hertz and really fast, custom shape, but we want it to be really, really snappy like that. And then on pitch, so. And we want this and one shot. Let's make it even faster. This becomes a nice little snappy attack transient. Now, right now they're both accepting and playing the same MIDI box MIDI files. You can open up MIDI box, just click here to change the different MIDI files for them. So one of them has a different MIDI file than the other. Now, I need a slider to the second layer, and there's two ways to do it. I could tie it to this one knob, go link parameters. This is where we have this duplicate with a plus one layer. Boom. It's now layer two doing probability. So now they both play together. So if I bring this down. They both are respecting. Now, one thing you could do is you could say, copy this knob, paste this knob. Go to this first knob. I'm going to hold down Option to quickly call this up. Option Alt. Let's set this one to one. And let's Option Alt on this little bullet and get rid of one. So this one's two. So we go Synth <laughs> Two Layer. So now they're separated. And if you want to take it one step farther, you can add after trigger box another of our creative MIDI effects called Jitterbox. And this can do random timing to get like a human feel. It can get really sloppy at 150 milliseconds. If you click right here, you can actually choose quantized timings. And if you say eighth notes and say minimum and max, now it's a minus an eighth note or a plus an eighth note. And if you go up here, you can actually quantize it to different timing values. Like if you want to be a swing, you can just say simple note times and then I'm going to limit it to be only eighth notes. So it's plus, or, it's got three different possible locations. It's either here, here, or here. So this layer up here is now going to have random for the timing. So it's no longer going to be even close to the same as it was before. It just gives it true random. It's really, really fun. So that's probability. That's trigger box. Very, very fun to play with. Experiment. Um, there's a whole bunch of patches that have trigger box. If I don't have the tag, let's see here if I go jitter box. Do I have it? I'm going to go through and I will put when we do the update of the patches, you'll be able to come over here and say jitter box. And it will list the patches that have jitter box uh, being used to do all this really fun random stuff. I, I, I didn't do that yet, but I will for the for the update. But if you go down here to BPM synth, like Perky Water, this one on page one has probability. Um, there's also such thing at anytime you see a probability over here, then you know that you've got that here. Got probability here. You've got uh, there's the splits. If you go here to the BPM splits like American Beauty, we've got probability for all of these layers. This is one where I'm using a whole bunch of trigger boxes on a whole bunch of Guru samplers. Each one's playing the note of a scale, and then it's randomly choosing from different notes of these different layers. And it's eight different layers. It's crazy. So you can take it way out there. It's very fun. Okay. So, trigger box. Very, very fun, creative, and opens up all sorts of really cool random doors in Unify. So, have fun with it. Okay, thanks. See you in the next video.